Hello again. This will be the Community Builder 2.0 tutorial number four. And we'll just pick off where we left. We have, uh, I've, we, we created a number of users, some in the, from the front end and some from the back end of Community Builder. And I went ahead and added a few. So we have a total of nine users on our tutorial website right now. Uh, today, I'll be showing you how to create a user list. A user list is an important aspect of your uh, social site as you want people to be able to find other users in an easy, uh, in an easy way. And that's what Community Builder user lists are for. So the first thing you want to do is go to Community Builder and there's here the list management area so we'll just visit this page and currently it's empty there's nothing there so let's click new to create a new user list okay let's go to the global tabs here okay let's give the user list a, a title first let's just call it member members list uh, members table list it's called uh, and let's give it a description. This list, this table lists all our registered members. Period. Published. Let's have the list published and default set to yes. Let's make this list publicly accessible. And we have it pre-selected just to show the registered users. Uh, so this means the way the settings are right now, it will not show the admin user because we haven't selected super users here also. We could have just done something like this to have everything or with a control. Okay, have both. But for now, for this tutorial, this will be enough. Okay, then we go to the sorting tab. Let's just keep our users sorted by username. We could change this basically, sort by a different field, but let's just keep it the way it is right now. No filtering. All the users will be will appear in the list. Now this is where we want to create columns. Uh, basically, our table will have three columns the way I'm envisioning it. So let's assume that the first column is just a members column. And let's assume it has basically two fields. Let's show the profile image, one line without title. And let's just click the plus button here to add a second field to this column, which could be the formatted name. And it'll be just below the image with an empty title again, or without title. One line without title, the same way. Okay, that's our first column. We'll get back to the size here, the size parameter in a, in, a, in a couple of minutes. I just want to go through the rest of the columns first. So to create another column, we just go and click this plus button here, and it opens up again. Uh, basically, it kind of clones the first column in terms of the number of fields. So let's call this dates. And what it'll basically have here is the three dates, member since date, and let's have this one line with title. A second date is the last updated date, one line with title. And let's have a third one here, and let's call this last online date. Again, one line with title. And let's have our third column here, which will basically be two elements. Let's call this stats. And what this is basically is the views, which is the number of views this website, this profile has. One line with title. And on the second stat is connections, is the number of connections 
that a profile has, one line with title. We haven't really established any connections here, so this will not appear right now when we see the user list, but let's just provision it just in case, just for the future. So let's go back to see what this size was. If you, let's go over the tooltip here, and basically it says select bootstrap column size. Total bootstrap columns count is 12. So if you want to have four columns user list, you need to set three for each column. Now, we have three columns, so 12 divided by three is four. So we have to set this size to four in all our columns. Okay. Um, let's just show you what the parameters, I'm not going to touch anything here, I'm just going to leave the default settings. There's some search parameters we'll be looking at, but I'll just leave everything default. Display parameters, again, just keep it the way it is. Paging, default. Linking, default. Let's do a save here. Okay. Let's just cancel, go back and see what looks. We have the member, the first list. Now, how are we going to show this in the front end? Well, we need to create a new menu, Joomla menu, for our user lists. So, let me just go ahead to the menus. Now, if you remember, this is a public user list. So, I really want to put it in a public menu. I'm not going to put it in the user menu because I've made that for registered users only. So let's put it in the main menu. Add new menu item here. Let's call it CB user lists. Okay. Select the menu type. Same way as before. Let's just use system links. Menu alias Elias. Click the already created CB user list here. It's not in the main menu. Okay, I think that's okay. So save and close. Going to the front end now. Let me just publish, refresh here. You see, I have a CB user list. Let's click on that. Oh, there we go. We see our member list table, and we see a list of users with the three columns, the date field. Stats, which has the views, and it would have had the number of connections, but there are no connections. Now, this is a public list. If I click, I'm not logged in. If I click on one of these profiles now, I get a message saying, you're not authorized to view these pages because my user profiles haven't been configured for public access. If you want to configure these for public access, you would go back to... Community Builder, Configuration, and find the User Profiles tab. Here it is, the third tab. And see where it says Profile View Access Level? It's by default set to Registered. If I want to make it public, I just change it here. I save that. I go to the front end. I go to a, a user list again. I'm not logged in. If I click now on a user list row, I can see the profile, and I'm not logged in. Okay, this is enough for the first uh, user list tutorial. I'll be creating another user list in the next tutorial uh, that'll show you a different layout. It won't be uh, a table-based layout anymore. We'll use the grid layout. I think that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.